Namaste. I am Professor Dr. Pramod Kiragav, Pro Vice Chancellor Jayoti Vidya Pitumas Vistri Jaipur, Faculty of Agriculture and Veterinary Science. Today's topic of discussion is waste management, its advantage and disadvantage in dairy industry. And as I discussed in my previous lecture, there are various sources of the you know, uh, waste generation in a uh, dairy industry. And I'm talking about the processing of milk in, into pasteurized milk and into various milk products. So uh, as I told in my previous uh, talk, that mainly from the dairy industry, liquid waste is generated. And uh, there are various sources, right from the receiving stations to bottling plant, cheese plant, and uh, butter washing area, condensed milk plant, drying milk plant, and uh, uh, you know there are spills and leaks uh, of the products and residual milk or milk products in piping and equipment before cleaning, wash solutions from equipment and floors, condensate from uh, operation processes, pressing and drying from cheese manufacture, butter wash, uh, you know, from the butter manufacturing uh, section, and so on. So uh, you can say that mainly the waste from the dairy industry is the liquid waste, and it has high, uh, you know, organic matter in it, which is, uh, you know, uh, biodegradable. So uh, the, as you can see on the screen, there are various methods of treating this wastewater, and aerobic treatment is very popular for uh, treating this wastewater because it is uh, wastewater is composed of organic material and it is in solution or colloidal suspension form and uh, some larger suspended uh, solid may be present in this wastewater which we can you know uh, separate which we can remove by using uh, you know the wire mesh screens uh, which is recommended uh, because uh, at some point this water will be pumped and if we will not remove these larger particles it may you know harm our uh, uh, pumps and and, and choke can choke pipes and all so uh, that is done uh, prior to the aerobic treatment of this waste water and uh, there are treatment ponds are used and aerobic ponds are used and uh, anaerobic ponds are also used anaerobic uh, treatment is also done and, and, and anaerobic ponds are generally used to pre-treat dairy waste with high protein and fat levels i have told in my previous lecture several times that to bring down the level of the waste in this wastewater from uh, you know a higher <clears throat> value to the lower value first we do the anaerobic and then to match it with the specifications of various agencies and various standards we go for the uh, aerobic uh, uh, treatment and uh, activated sludge method is the most popular method i have also told about the activated sludge also activated sludge method is the most popular method for treating the dairy waste the process uh, uh, as aerobic oxidation of organic matter in the wastewater and convert it into the co2 h2 ns3 and cell biomass and which is followed by sedimentation of the activated sludge which we you know remove later on and uh, it is uh, some portion of this activated sludge is returned to the aeration tank so that the treatment cycle may be continued and uh, we uh, further uh, we can go for biological filtration also trickling filters uh, you know is a type of biological filter and uh, uh, the, these these uh, filters are used for the biological waste treatment uh, in the biological filter the biofilm is attached to a support substance a biofilm is attached to a to substance such as gravel stones or plastic materials and as the wastewater is pumped over this uh, biofilm, it oxidizes organic matter and removes nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus. And uh, you know, ultimately, what is happening actually? The bacteria they are biodegrading this organic matter, and uh, 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 that's how uh, uh, treating the wastewater. And later on, uh, we deodorize this wastewater, and it can be used uh, for the uh, irrigation of the for the uh, watering of the plants and grasses in the uh, uh, industry premises uh, you know that is the most common use of this uh, the way, uh, treated wastewater and uh, prickling filter uh, uh, method is used for that which is a biological treatment method and uh, bod as i told bod is very important which is a biological or biochemical oxygen demand it is an important parameter in the water resources management and if uh, high BOD means there is a lot of impurities in the water and we have to reduce lower down this BOD level 
uh, or be uh, of the water and the uh, treated water has the less BOD, uh, biological oxygen demand. So that's all about uh, you know uh, uh, treating the wastewater of dairy industry in a nutshell. It was an overview. Uh, that's all for today. Good day. Bye bye.